We have got an interesting one today. We have this 2012 Hyundai Sonata. Customer drove over a pothole and well, this happened. The tire when you turn touches the fender. So let's take a look and see what we can find here. I already peeped at what was the issue with this. This is the awesome thing about these low profile jacks. Because even if this happens, you can still get underneath there to lift it up. That's what we got. So spring came out completely. <laughs> All right. Thankfully, it looks like it did not damage any of the brake line here. Nothing on the connectors. The electric connectors look okay as well. I did grab one with me because I kind of figured maybe this is what happened considering you know how the customer explained the situation. I figured maybe the the spring broke and it popped out. I didn't think it was going to be this bad but uh, I did grab one with me. There was two options. Let's see if I have the right one. This is the one I grabbed and it's not the same one. So on this one, the sway bar link is right here. On the one that's on the car, it's right over here. And I don't know if the sway bar link is like that or if it's bent. Maybe I'll have to grab one when I get back just so I have it. I don't know. Maybe that's how it is. Maybe got dented when this popped out. I'm surprised it didn't do more damage though. So let's go run to the parts store and grab the correct one. I make sure we move all of this hardware aside. I need, need some uh, some fluid in the power steering. Ah, that looks a little bent, huh? A little bit. I went ahead and put a jack stand underneath this so this doesn't just drop and pull the axle with it. So that's a smart way of doing it, I guess. That's good. I'll take this off as well to loosen even more tension from that line. And then now the rest of the work is done up top. This is a size 14 over here. Let's take this off. It's easy work. Okay, now we can go ahead and pull this down. And this is our brand new part. So let's go ahead, take this top piece off. I always take those off, I don't leave them on there. Some people prefer to leave them on there. I do not. It's nice that they come with new hardware. Most of them do though. Installation is the reverse of remove. Let me get my big head in there so I can see. I'm gonna get the bolts up top tight and I like to do that before connecting the bottom. That way there's no stress on the strut itself. Alright. 
move this out of the way. Let's bring this closer. Can you guys even see this? I don't know. Now, hold on before I get this tight. Make sure this is routed properly. Okay, we're good, we're good. We are perfectly fine. You are technically supposed to do an alignment after you do this job. However, if you only move camber by a little bit, I personally don't recommend doing it. Now let's get this sway bar length tight, 17 millimeter or 18 I should say. Okay, it's perfect. Pretty much done. Just gotta put the wheel back on it. And we're gonna call it a day. By the way, if you're a mechanic, you know, these are amazing hardware to keep because you're always gonna be in a pinch and you're gonna need these different ones. And uh, when you save them, you know, every mechanic has a drawer of these full of old nuts and bolts. All right, final product reveal. There we go. Looks much better. The other side is probably gonna settle a little bit. The other side looks about the same. So there you go. I came to the customer's property. We fixed the car right on the spot. Did not make a mess. Uh, this car doesn't have a lot of rust. There's some cars that have a lot of rust. For those, I put something down so I don't get them dirty. And uh, yeah, there you go convenience at its finest. I'll see you guys on the next one.